One of the things that, that, that I believe is important to you in your coaching practice that you talk about frequently is this concept of the modern CEO. Can, can you describe what you, what you mean by that? Yeah, um, absolutely. So in my experience of working with CEOs, and this, this goes from CEOs of early stage startups to scale-ups, even to large enterprises, fairly early on, we build up a bit of trust. And then it kind of goes quiet in a coaching session. They sort of lean in and they go, Am I, am I doing the CEO the right way? Am I doing this the right way, Joe? Am I doing this the right way? Am I, is this the right way to be a CEO? And that question's, I'm always surprised when that question's asked me, right? I had it maybe three months ago with a, a CEO of a, of a FTSE 100 um, listed retail company here in the UK, asked me that same question. You know, I'd been doing that job for six years, had, you know, billions of dollars, billion dollar company, you know, huge amounts of responsibility and asked me that question. And number one, of course, you know, being a typical coach, I was like, well, I mean, what do you think? I mean, clearly you asking me the question shows you, you're not sure yourself, right? And so it set me off on a path of trying to define what it means to be the modern CEO. What does it mean to be a CEO in the 2020s, right? Because a lot of the literature and a lot of the stuff that's written about being a CEO comes from out, rather outdated management books, right? You know, or business schools where you're taught to have all the answers or be the smartest person in the room. And all of these things which are not relevant to the modern era of doing business. And I wanted to be able to bring that into the modern world. So to think about what, what's the skill set, what's the mindset of a modern CEO? What does it mean to be a modern CEO these days? So I started putting together effectively, I don't want to call it a manifesto because that makes it sound political because it's not, but a list of really of ways that a CEO should be or ways that are going to, more guarantees success than anything else. And inherent in that is this concept really at the root of it all is that you as a CEO, you don't need to know it all. You don't have to have all the answers all of the time. Because you don't. And really, if you look at the best leaders, and you, you mentioned it earlier on, the best leaders hire the best people so the best people can tell them what to do. Everybody kind of has heard that adage. It's become a bit of a cliche. But the reality of actually doing that is really different because you can put these expectations on yourself to be this CEO that maybe you've seen or read about in the Harvard Business Review, or you've seen Steve Jobs up on stage talking, or you've seen how Mark Zuckerberg does something, or you see how Elon Musk runs his businesses. And you sort of see yourself and you picture yourself next to them. And I really wanted to be able to help people to create their own vision of what that might be with some guidance and some guardrails from some of the insights and wisdom that I've learned from the CEOs that I've worked with. Yeah. And again, it's coming back to that idea of that system. You've got to help that person understand this is a system they're working with him, right? They're working with a huge bunch of individuals, but there's already a system of how these people work or don't work well together. And it's your job to understand that system, number one, so you can understand where you fit and how you fit into that system. So it's about creating the ability to do that. So, you know, 